Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today I have a very 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 exciting video for you guys pretty sure I see that at the beginning of every video but I'm feeling this one Very sad moment in history. About to drink the last bit of my frappuccino. Tried something new today. I went to Starbucks and I ordered a vanilla bean frappuccino. But get this. I added two pumps of raspberry syrup. And this tastes amazing and I'm like really sad right now because I could drink like the largest cup of this in the world and never get sick of it it's just amazing so you guys should try it but anyways this is going to be a very long video so I might as well just get started while I can and I'm sorry okay like in every single one of my videos I'm like all using my hands and that's trying to drive some people crazy and I know that if I watched a video where the person used their hands, like, the whole time, even when they spoke, I would get so annoyed. I'm going to promise you guys that I will start trying to not do that anymore, so. This video was actually requested by a couple of people, and it is for me to do my makeup collection. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that that's kind of the background of my videos. It's right here. I don't have an actual vanity or an actual vanity mirror or anything like that. I really want one and I think I'm going to ask for one for my birthday or Christmas. So I really, really want one of those. So leave down in the comments any awesome vanities or what you guys have as vanities because I would love to check that out because I'm sure you guys have awesome vanities. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started in my makeup collection video. So this is my makeup collection setup, and I just stacked two of the five drawer containers on top of each other, and I got these from Kroger. So I bet you can find them a lot of places, but that's just where I got mine. And I kind of organized things by drawer. So before I get into everything, I'm just going to kind of share the theme of every drawer with you guys. So in this first drawer, I just keep like my foundation and facial routine products in here. And here I keep my mascaras. And here I keep like my blushes and highlights and all that fun stuff. And here are my cream eyeshadows and single eyeshadows. Here are my NYX lip glosses and one of my NYX lipstick. And here are my chubby lip pencils or lip crayons or whatever you'd like to call them. In the drawer after that, I just have my lip glosses, things that aren't lip crayons or lip thingy majiggies. My lip glosses. In the drawer below that, I just have my eyeliners and stuff like that. I'll get into all that when we actually go through it. And here I have my EOS's, and in the last drawer I have my chapsticks and baby lips and fun stuff like that. Then on the top I just have a 15 count acrylic lipstick holder, and it's by the brand Beano. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or what the heck. But it didn't hold all my lipsticks, so there are a few scattered throughout my organization. But I put 15 of my favorite ones that could fit in there. And then on the sides here is where I have my brushes and sponges and utensils like that. And then I just have this little DIY decorative thing that I made at one of my friend's birthday parties. And then you can't see it right now, but I have three drawers on this cart. And I just have some other stuff like my palettes and stuff in there, so. I'm sorry if the quality of this video is kind of crabby because I am hand holding it right now because... I don't have a tripod or a fancy schmancy camera or anything like that, so it's just going to be handheld. So, the first stop on my makeup adventure is my lipsticks. 
And in the front, I have my four MAC lipsticks, and I have Chatterbox, Plink, the Cream Cup, and Coral Bliss. And then beside that, I just have a Revlon lipstick, and that is in the shade Lover's Coral. And then I have a lot of Revlon lip butters because I love those. And then I have two of the L'Oreal Color Rich Balms. And then in between that, I just have one of the original Black Tube NYX lipsticks. And I believe that one is an Indian pink. And then I just have two Maybelline lipsticks beside that. And I just have this cute little flower that broke off of a sun catcher that I decided would look cute there, so I put that there. The first drawer of my 10 makeup drawers is just, again, where I keep my foundation and everyday facial products. So I have the two Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Creams, and this one is with the 2% salicylic acid, and this one is just the original 8 in 1. And then beside that, I have my pressed powders, my facial setting powders. I just have the Remmel Stay Matte and a very, very old CoverGirl one that's literally, like, so gone, it's, like, not even funny. I have Benefits Gimme Brow, a sample of the Hello Flawless, two facial primers. I have the Baby Skin and a Smashbox. I have the e.l.f. Wet Lash and Brow Gloss. I have Urban Decay's Original Primer and Urban Decay's Sin Primer. Back there, I have uh, one of the Maybelline sponge-tipped Age Rewind concealers. It's completely gone. I don't even know I, why I still have it. It's probably lost back there or something. And then I just have my current CoverGirl Fresh Complexion concealer. And again, I don't know the shade of this because the bottom kind of fell off. So that is all for my everyday. Well, I don't use all these on an everyday basis, but that's kind of the point of this drawer. So that drawer is done. In my second drawer, I just have all my mascaras, and there are, are way too many here to go through them all. I have the Great Lash, a sample size of their Real, a big size of their Real, the Rocket, this purple tube, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called, Lash Blast Fusion, which I've been using lately, as well as the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly. I use that in most all of the videos I do my makeup in on my channel so far. I have the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. I have four MAC sample sizes, and then just my lash curler. In the next drawer, again, it's just my cheek tints and blushes and bronzers and that kind of stuff. So I, ha I have two of the e.l.f. blushes. I have one very old CoverGirl blush, a Maybelline Master Highlight, a really old Victoria's Secret bronzer, a couple Mary Kay blushes, the Tarte blush and Memorable, the NYC Smooth Skin bronzer, a mini Tarte cheek tint and flush, and then two mini size Benetint's the High Beam and Posy tint. And then below here, I just have the e.l.f. contouring and blush kit. And then my current favorite blush, which is the NYX blush in Dusty Rose. Drawer below that, I just have my single eyeshadows, my cream-based eyeshadows, and my NYX jumbo eye pencils. I have yogurt, and then I have ice mocha, and then I have one of their infinite shadow sticks, and I don't know what color. Back there, I just have, I think, six single Mary Kay eyeshadows, which I used to really like when I first started to wear makeup, so those are definitely good if you're just starting out. I have two e.l.f. Uh, makeup pencil sharpeners, which would work on these, and then some lip pencils and jumbo products, I guess. I have e.l.f.'s single baked eyeshadow and burnt plum, a very, very old Ulta one that I was given, a MAC single eyeshadow and all that glitters and then the color tattoo and barely branded and silver stripe. Under that I just have a very exciting drawer. It's probably my most favorite drawer and it is just my NYX butter glosses. I have some of the shine glosses. I have a matte lip cream which I do not like those at all. They just make my lips look very dry and cracked. I have two of the shimmer glitter glosses and then again one of my NYX Butter lipsticks that would not fit in my 15 lipstick holder and this is in the shade Snowcap. 
Under that, I have my jumbo lip crayon, lip pencils, whatever you'd want to call them. I have an e.l.f. I have one of the Kardashian Chroma Collections. It comes with a lip gloss on the other side, and I'm not sure what this is called. I have an e.l.f. in pink umbrella. I have a CoverGirl Smoochies. I have a CoverGirl, and I have a L'Oreal lip balm. I have a CoverGirl Clear, which came with the lip stain or whatever that I used to use. I have an e.l.f. lip stain, I have some Revlons, and then I have a Tarte. So that is all for that drawer, and then on to my ever so messy and unorganized lip gloss drawer. I have a ton, I have, I have a wide range of brands, I have Stila, I have Alme, I have Maybelline, I have CoverGirl, I have Mary Kay, I have Tarte, I have a whole bunch of these that came with my Divergent collection. I have e.l.f. I just have a ton and there's way too many to go through so yeah I just have way too many and this is a side view it's like jam-packed can't even tell you and then under that I have my eyeliner drawer and if you know me I do not wear eyeliners if you watched any of my other videos you know that I don't wear them I have some Sephora's, I have Physician's Formula, I have Revlon, I have Stila, I just have a ton of different brands and I should really start to use them because I have a lot of them and they're going to waste, so yeah. And then I just have some cleanup products like I have this e.l.f. makeup remover pen which actually surprisingly works very well, it just leaves some oil behind. And then I have scotch tape for when you want a cut edge with your eyeshadow, I have some travel Kleenexes and some NYX blotting sheets. In this drawer I have my EOS's. I have the lemon one with SPF. I have raspberry. I have two sweet mints and one of them is completely gone. I have a honeydew honeysuckle. I have a passion fruit and I have the blueberry acai. I am not a huge fan of these. I really like the sweet mint but the rest of them are just okay. I don't feel that they moisturize my lips a ton but they're still great to have. And then in my very last drawer before my palettes and everything, I just have a ton of baby lips, which I've just recently gotten back into them. And then I have a Nivea. I have two Nivea lip butters, which I love those. Back there I have some Tinted Burt's Bees. I have the Chapstick brand. I have Blistex. And then I have a Vaseline Rose Salve, I guess. Moving on into this drawer is just where I keep my palettes. And this is actually my last makeup drawer, so... In this basket back here, I just have some unused makeup sponges. I have a lot of sample products. I have some products that I really don't like anymore that I never, never use, like the e.l.f. foundation, the e.l.f. studio finish powder. I have some of the Urban Decay primer potion samples. Some unused sponges, like I said, just a ton of random crap in that basket. Then I have a makeup traveling thingy majiggy that I just keep right there. And then I have a, actually, I didn't think I had a lot of palettes, but I kind of have a lot for, you know. So I'm going to go through those. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which I really, really like. I have the Naked Original palette. I have the Steel in the Light palette. I have the Tarte, the Tarte of Giving eyeshadow palette, which is from a Christmas collection. I have a Seal at the Natural Little book of shadows and bronzers and highlights and stuff like that. I have the NYX Dreamcatcher palette, which I'm actually not a fan of. They're very chalky and very unpigmented. I have a Milani eyeshadow thing, and I'm very confused why I have purple, because I do not wear purple eyeshadows, and it's just the Runway Eyes fashion shadows. And then, again, I just have all of my Divergent kit collection palettes and one of them this one is a cheek palette and then this one is just a mixture of eyeshadow and cheek and hey there I found a lipstick that I didn't know I had so that is all for that drawer and then there are two more drawers here and I figure I might as well just show you in this drawer I just have my hairbrush I have some clips I have my heat protectant hairspray curl spray 
comb, just random stuff like that. This is a very empty drawer. And then just in this last bottom drawer, I have my hot tools. I have a straightener. I have a curling iron, which I use as a curling wand. I have a hair dryer, a diffuser, just stuff like that, like hot tools, stuff and like that. And then right here in this little box, it actually came with the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume. And it just has all of my Bath and Body Works pocket bags in there. So if you want, I could do a separate collection for those. I don't use them a ton, but I do have a ton. And the very last part of my makeup collection, I again, I don't have a ton, but I definitely have a lot for just an, an average person. I definitely collected, and I can say that. I am planning on getting some more products because I just... I just buy way too much makeup and it's just kind of a hobby and a collection and you know it's gonna grow. So in these little Target sale bin baskets, I got them at Target in the sale bin. Me and my friend like to bargain shop in the Target sale bins. So I just have two of these and I just stack them on top of each other because the second one has no use to it as of now. I just have my Elf Kabuki and my Real Techniques Expert face sponge. I have two of these little brush cups and in this one I have rice and these are for my single sided brushes and then in this one I don't and it's for my double sided or bigger brushes. Okay so most of my brushes are from e.l.f. or I have some Real Techniques ones again I have two of those so I have the e.l.f. blush brush, I have the e.l.f. powder brush, I have the e.l.f eyeshadow C brush, I have the e.l.f. small angled brush, I have the e.l.f. small stippling brush, I have the e.l.f. foundation brush, and I have the e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush, I guess that's what it's called. And then these two, as well as these two fluffy ended brushes, they're from an Estee Lauder kit that my mom gave to me and I am not sure where you can buy them or if you can buy them because they're pretty old. So that is all for this one with the rice. And then other than the two Estee Lauder brushes I showed you, there are, on there are only three more in that. I have the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I have the double-sided Divergent Collection Palette Brush that came with my Divergent Kit. And then I just have the double-ended Urban Decay Naked Brush that came with the Naked One Palette. So. So thank you so much for watching my makeup collection video and be sure to comment down below what you thought of this video and again any vanity that you know of or that you use that you think I would like or would be a good use to my collection. Also comment products that you think I would like or that you really like that you would recommend to any common person like me. And be sure to subscribe if you're just watching this video, you've stumbled across it. Because I definitely love all of you subscribers. You mean a lot to me. A very, very lot to me. I don't even know if that's a saying, but it, it is now. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And again, just comment down below. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram, which will be down below. And it is just KNL Beauty Intel. And if you are interested in doing a collab video or just contact me in general, you can contact me at my Gmail, which is linked down below. And also, if you have ever heard of Wanna, it's a great app. It's just an app where you can follow your favorite stores and then get updated when they add a new product or when other people kind of pen or repost another product and you can have all these different collections and you can follow me on there so you should definitely do that and I am just Lauren2929 so that would be great too and I love you guys all so much and be sure to stay happy and stay cool because you guys are so cool you were literally like the swaggest of the swaggest so keep that in mind just yeah. So I'm going to stop talking now and thank you for watching and bye. Where were we? Brain freeze. Oh. <laughs>
wanted to get level with, you know, the setup. So, flash you guys there. Stay. Guess I'm gonna have to move. <gasps> On in this drawer, I have uh, come out, which is from a Christmas collection. I have oh hey, <laughs> ah, my feet it hurts to be on your knees.